Oh, we got some changes coming. Matt, from the left to the right to the middle. So many things about to change. Ooh. Ooh. What is going on today, my fellow subscribers, YouTube watchers, etc.? Thank you for checking out the channel one more time, and I appreciate it like always. If you enjoyed this video, thumbs up it, please, because it helps out the channel so much. You guys don't understand. Thank you for checking it out. I truly, truly, truly appreciate you guys so much. So I'm not gonna waste any time. Well, I will. One more thing. You guys seem to love that video. The last video I talked about with, uh, I went over to Mike's place, checked out the T51R mod on the turbo. Awesome, awesome mod. You guys, the, I didn't know the audio was gonna be that good on the, on the video camera, but it worked out really good. You guys love that mod. A very common question I was getting asked about that was, can I do this to my stock turbo? You can do it to any S300, S400 frame turbo. So your stock HE351s, you can do it to. If you got a 5.9, I think it's like a H351 or something like that. You can do it to those. If you got a second gen swap, S400, it doesn't matter if it's a Borg Warner, Smedin, you can do it. S400, same thing, okay? So that's, that's just to answer your question. I have no affiliation, no ties with that company, that uh, FRX or whoever they are. I don't have any affiliations with them. I just know if you guys are interested in that, I'm just trying to give you guys some information. So we are going to be stepping in and un doing an unboxing on our new fuel in setup for the truck. The only thing we're missing is one thing, but I'll talk about it in the video, okay? So before I even get started real quick, I gotta give two huge, huge, huge shout outs because if it was not for these two companies and these people within these companies, this video would not be a thing right now. I'm telling you guys that right now. So first shout out I gotta give to is Don and April Morrison over at Flux Diesel, okay? These are where the injectors are coming from. Uh, they were kind enough wholeheartedly enough be able to help the channel out help the build out uh by sponsoring injectors onto the channel so i have to give them a huge shout out to that uh you guys we've been in touch for a while this has been in the works for you guys don't know how long this has been in the works man there's a lot of stuff that goes on in the back of the channel that you guys don't really see until you see videos and products and you know things happen but we had a lot of stuff going on in the background for a while and i was keeping it under wrap until it, we got to this moment so cannot stress enough Thank you guys so much, I truly appreciate it. Now, I will have links down below to them and the next company I'm gonna mention down below. Check out the website, okay? Now, one thing with Flux Diesel, I was getting tons of questions on Instagram because Instagram did see it first, so if you're not following Instagram, Instagram is everything underscore diesel. With Flux Diesel, they do more than just stock injectors, okay? For some reason, a couple people were thinking that they only do reman injectors and you know stock injectors. No, no, no. You can get modded injectors up to 500%. Okay, they also offer warranties on their injectors, three, five, and seven year warranties, okay? Um, this is just me. I, I don't know one engine part I can put on my truck that I can get a seven year warranty on, okay? That's not, not, even, a, not even a manufacturer's give seven year warranties. I mean, you can get an extended warranty, but seven years, okay? If a company is willing to put seven years on a product of theirs, that means something, okay? Because you got to think, every time within that warranty period something happens, they, they got to pay out of pocket to cover it. So if a company's willing to put a seven-year warranty on their product, that tells you something really, really big, okay? Next thing I'm going to go ahead and talk about you guys is PPE. Corey over at PPE. PPE, thank you guys so much. If you guys did not know already, PPE is the same company that provided the... Uh, deep dish transpan and the rear diff cover and also the front diff cover huge shout out to Corey and his team over there you guys thank you so much if you're watching this i truly wholly appreciate it you guys don't understand like i've worked hard to get to this point um this channel came a long way and we're not done yet and i told you guys 2020 we were going to bring some sauce we were going to bring some heat and i would like to think up to this point we've made it we, we've done some work okay this truck has this truck was not like this back in January 1st, 2020, okay? And it's not even done yet. We still have so much more stuff to do, you guys. You guys don't even understand. Uh, this is, you guys, the fans, the viewers, when it comes to, uh, you know, fan engagement, commenting, liking the video engagement, you guys drive me to make these videos and I, I'm motivated to wanna work, hustle, reach out to companies, connect, all that stuff, okay? And then companies like PPE, Beans Diesel, Flux Diesel, uh, MDC, I'm, I mean, just companies willing to work with, I like to call myself, consider myself a small YouTuber because I, I, I just do, but willing to work with a small YouTuber, you guys know I don't do this full time, I do this on the side. Um, let me turn my hat backwards, I feel like you guys can't see me. I do this on the side, you guys, so it's like, I'm truly blessed and honored 
to be making these videos for you guys and and you know i get tons of love uh, on messages and emails people thanking me for the videos and how i helped them i'm out saving them so much money so i'm just i don't know i'm just beyond blessed and just grateful right now so now i'm done talking on the soapbox i know i'm, I'm gonna show you guys what you're here for which is the part okay okay so what we got you guys first thing i'm gonna show y'all is the flux diesel injectors and then we're gonna go ahead and show you what ppe sent us for our fuel system I, you guys don't even some of y'all might know about it if you watched the end of my i think two videos ago you might know first things first i got a little story i want to tell with this box so this box is beat the crap right uh it, it pretty much came like this to my house because ups decided to be lazy and they left it out it exposed in the middle of a week-long rainstorm um, left the box out box got completely soaked I mean it, just, it was falling apart uh, it finally dried out but here's the story okay I was nervous as heck I reached out to Don over at, at flux diesel super nervous I was like man I hope these injectors aren't ruined man I'm, I was about to break my heart I come to open the box okay open up the box check out everything out they sent us some cool stickers. We'll be putting this on the back window of the truck. Or I might make a custom gold one. We got inject brand new Cummins OEM injector connector tubes, all six. Each injector is individually wrapped inside its own wrapper. You guys don't understand this. So what that means is it's in its own baggie, okay? Nothing is getting inside of this bag unless you open it or cut it open. Water oil it doesn't matter so by them taking pride and i have to say this because things it's the small things like this that is the reason why i love working and supporting small american companies or just american businesses because of the pride they take in their product okay a company you can you can tell a lot about a company based off of their packaging and i'm not just trying to blow smoke or sound you know biased or anything but you really can like the pride a company takes in packaging their products because they believe in their products that much tells you something okay now i know big big name companies is a little different but i'm talking about small companies where these people hand package their packages themselves there's no machine that's going to do this there's no machine that's going to box this up they do it themselves okay so that goes a long way but continuing on uh, so we have six brand new, fully Bosch OEM, 50% over injectors, also known as 120 horsepower injectors. I'm going to go ahead and get this. Maybe I can get this one out with one hand. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I got it. I got it. Oof. Oof. Look at that. I'm not taking the cap off until I install these bad Larrys. Oh my goodness. You guys, it even has that, it has that performance smell on it. Like you can smell the power in these sticks here. Okay. So we got 120 horsepower fuel injectors, all six of them ready to go. Brand new connecting uh, tubes for the injectors. Uh oh, the cap came off. Let me fix that real quick. So we got the injectors, guys. Fuel sticks are here. We are ready to fuel up the beast, the cum daddy, okay? Now we got something even better, well not even, but something to couple these injectors so well, okay? I'll let you guys peep that out real quick. If you think this is a game, it's not a game. This is real deal. We got PPE went ahead and sent out the dual fueler kit for a 6.7 Cummins. This is going to be applicable from 2007 and a half to 2012, okay? Now, they sent us the kit. They did not send us the actual pump. I will still need to get a pump, um, which is not going to be hard because I'm going to be running two dual stock CP3s, which is, which is you know, very respectable and easy, easy to uh, come by. You guys. Another scenario, packaging, A1. They were able to put everything we needed for our kit in this one box. Excellent stuff, okay? So you got box one, box two, CP3 bracket. And if you did not know, dual fuelers is actually, if you do it right, dual fuelers are actually carb compliant. All 50 states, emissions intact. Uh, if you have a bone stock truck with emissions on it, you can actually still run a, a dual CP3 setup. Uh, in terms of tuning and stuff you can get also customized tuning emissions intact customized tuning uh so this dual fuelers is not just for racing it's not just for hot rod dudes and dudes going down the track a thousand miles an hour or some craziness okay D uh, dual cp3 setup it can be two things it can be for more power but at the same time it's also going to be in terms of longevity on your parts okay so essentially what's happening is and if you didn't know these trucks have one injection pump which is a very reliable reliable and phenomenal injection pump okay it has a 6.7 uh or it's, it's a bosch 
uh, CP3. I think it's like a CP3.2 or something like that. I, I don't remember. But anyways, they're really reliable. But by incorporating a second stock CP3, what you're essentially doing is you're cutting the workload in half for your single CP3. So when your rail pressure is at 25,000 PSI or for dudes going down the track at 30,000 PSI or even more, you, instead of one CP3 being demanded all of that fuel, it's the workload is cut in half, okay? There's a reason why dual stock CP3 setups are good up to 1200 horsepower. It's because it, you can pump pretty much twice the volume of fuel with half the work needed, okay? Now, if you guys are wondering in terms of uh, computers and wires and all that stuff, it's really not that much. There's only one, okay? Uh, PPE does an excellent job boxing everything and a big, big, big thing, they do quality assurance checks on everything, okay? They send a controller, okay? What this controller does pretty much is, it, is it's a splitter essentially with a controller box on it. So what it does is, you will plug one one end of the harness into the stock CP3 harness, and then two the other two pigtails you will plug into the actual individual CP3s. What this controller does is exactly what I just explained. It's going to control the fuel balance between both of the CP3s, so that way both CP3s are on the same page. They're working together. Okay, this is an extremely in-depth kit, you guys. This kit comes with everything you need. You don't need to go out to the hardware store buy clamps, fuel lines. It comes with everything, new pulley, new belts, new injector lines, okay? It has the whole shebang. I will have a link down below in the video uh, leading you straight to this setup, okay? Brand new belt, I don't know, I think this is a Gators belt, oh, I'm not sure. I don't know, green back, something. New belt, uh, we got, what else we got, what else? We got a coolant reroute, not reroute, but it, it, it redirects the uh, coolant. Cause we're, so over here, I'll show you guys real quick. So this coolant hose right here, we're gonna be taking out. I don't even know if you guys, there you go. That hose is taken out. It's gonna do a new hose, and what it does is it pretty much goes up and then comes back down. So we got that. This is gonna look so good. Now you guys ready for this part? This is probably my favorite part right here, besides the actual pump. Boom! <laughs> ah, dude, check that bad Larry out. Oh my goodness, this thing is beautiful. Billet, 100% aluminum billet. Oh man, this is so pretty. You guys, man, this is gonna be awesome. We got some cool videos coming up here within the, new, the near future, man. Uh, we, we got more stuff, we, you guys can see down there. That's the uh, hard coolant reroute hose. It's gonna go up there. It, this thing is excellent. And then, best of all, I don't even remember if I said this or not, but if I did, I apologize. Best thing of all, guess what they include? Instructions. You guys know, if you guys watch this channel for a long time, you guys know I am a huge fan and slash stickler for instructions good in-depth instructions okay now after reading this also here's another bonus check this out color okay. so my camera decided to overheat finally let it cool down if i'm correct the last thing i left off on was the instructions now not only does ppe give you full guided instructions but check this out they're in color come on now you guys come on and I actually read through the entire instruction packet. It's actually not that hard. Uh, it's pretty simple for the most part and straightforward. There's no like modding or uh, trickery you gotta do. It it, it 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 lays it out. You know, you can easily uh, follow these instructions and know what you're doing. Uh, so you're probably wondering or asking yourself, well, what is it that we're waiting on now? Like, why, when you go install it, Cam? So what I'm waiting on right now, you guys, two things one to two things one is valve springs okay i gotta get some valve springs on order why because here's here it is in order to do the valve springs you gotta take the injectors out if i'm correct okay well i'm taking the injectors out anyways to swap them out so why not knock out the valve spring job at the same time slap new injectors in do the valve lash call it a day next time i take the valve cover off it ain't gonna be until i put the billet cover on which is gonna be coming soon so make sure you subscribe hit the bell notification so you know that's how I look at it. Um, I'm not in a rush, you guys. You know, I'm, you guys know me. I, I take my time on things. I'm not trying to rush this and be doing twice the work. You know, I'm more of a kill two birds with one stone type of dudes myself. So plus, working on a, a truck that high, I mean, you guys get, give you a perspective, okay? So you, my chin lines up with that cross member. I'm six foot three. I'm a tall dude. I got long arms too. And that's still high. 
So if I if I if I don't have to go in there twice doing the same maintenance, I'm not. I'm going to. I'm going to go that route. You get what I'm saying, okay? So you guys, we have a lot of cool stuff happening on the channel. If you're not excited, I know I am. You guys are going to enjoy the content uh, for the compound setup. I am going to try my hardest to make a step-by-step -step tutorial showing how to install it because on YouTube as of right now, there's like two videos showing how to install a compound setup. I believe Pusher has a kit, or Pusher has theirs, which is the Ada Turbo kit. It's not a complete uh, S300, S400 setup. And then Fleece has one, which is for their kit, okay? So I'm gonna be trying my best to make a step-by-step -step tutorial showing how to install smetting compounds on a 6.7 Cummins. Hopefully, it'll come out good. We don't know yet. <laughs> but um, definitely gonna be making an in install video for the dual feeders, gonna be making an install. You guys, you guys know, I'm gonna make videos on everything, okay? so. That's it, that is it, man. I'm excited right now. I'm so excited, so happy, humble, everything, okay? So if you guys are checking this out, please smash that thumbs up button. Please hit the subscribe button. Join the family, okay? I know a lot of you guys out there watching these videos and you're not subscribed. Subscribe to the channel, you guys. I, I freaking love when y'all watch these videos and comment and let me know how I'm doing, okay? So if you guys are excited about any of this stuff, by the way, like I said, links down below. So check out the fueler, check out the injector, uh, Flux Diesel's website. Uh, it's good stuff. It's good stuff, okay? So until next time, you guys, thank you for checking out the video. Have a good week. I'll see you guys real soon, and y'all take care.